Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Today's video is in two parts. In part one, we'll show you why you want to download pre-cached shaders for Overwatch 2, which will include gameplay showing the distinct stuttering that happens when you play without shaders. In part two, we'll show you how to download my compiled shaders and copy them to your system so you can see the immediate improvement. There will be chapter jumps in the video description to help you get where you want to be, and I will also include a link to my extensive Reddit post on the subject included in the description below. Let's get started. This video assumes you have watched my existing video, Shaders, Caches, and You. While this video will reiterate a bit of that information, you really want a full understanding of shader caches, and I recommend watching that video before watching this one. This video also assumes you followed my guide for installing Battle.net as a non-Steam game, and you have installed Overwatch 2 already. You should also have Proton Tricks installed and have hidden files turned on with the Dolphin File Manager. If you haven't watched my Dolphin's Tricks and Tips video for 2023, you might want to check that out first because it shows my configuration for Dolphin and it may help you navigate this tutorial better. Now that that is out of the way, let's get started. A fresh copy of Overwatch 2 installed via a non-Steam game version of Battle.net will perform very poorly for a long time because while Valve will generously provide pre-compiled shader caches for games you bought and installed from Steam, these caches don't exist for non-Steam games. In fact, as a rule, Valve washes its hands clean of anything you do as a non-Steam game, which is why you have to clean up after yourself when removing them. As you can see, Overwatch 2 looks terrible without shaders being compiled. The more you play, of course, the more shaders will be built and cached, meaning that over time, Overwatch 2 will eventually level out to the sleek 60 FPS game we're looking for. After all, stutters like this in a highly competitive team-based shooter isn't going to win you any friends, and your teammates will probably say terrible things to you when the match is over. Now, let's take a look at the same map and setup with my pre-compiled shaders in place. That's some difference, isn't it? Why on earth would you put up with stuttering and nonsense for dozens of hours of play, and that is not hyperbole, when you have these pre-compiled shaders ready for you? As a quick disclaimer, I only play quick play, and these shaders do not take into account any special holiday events, like Christmas or Halloween, which brings fresh graphics and shaders to the game on a seasonal basis. When those events come back around, you will again experience stuttering as the shaders are built for those new maps and graphics. I will, however, continue to post updated shader sets whenever the shaders go stale. So now you know why you want it, how do you get it? First, shader caches are stored in a specific location based on the Steam ID of a game. Since non-Steam games use random Steam IDs, my Battle.net non-Steam game ID isn't going to be the same as yours. To find yours, we will use Proton Tricks installed from the Discover App Store. It's free and easy to use. Just run it and look for your Battle.net non-Steam app ID. Make a note of it. This number will denote the folder for both Compad Data, or your Proton prefix holding the Battle.net app, and Shader Caches, which is what we're looking at here. Now you need a copy of my shaders to replace or augment yours. Clicking the link in the description below will download the shaders I've spent dozens of hours compiling for you. Periodically, shaders go stale, which is why these shaders are not all-encompassing since the shaders went stale in March of 2023 and needed to be replaced. Once you have downloaded the shaders, we'll extract them here inside of the Dolphin File Manager. In the other directory list, we will navigate to the Shader Caches folder that contains the shaders for the non-Steam game. Now we'll copy the shaders we downloaded into the Shader Cache folder, making sure we write into and overwrite all. This shouldn't take too long. Now that the shaders are in place, you can delete the original zip file you downloaded and the extracted shaders folder from your downloads directory. Now let's jump back into gaming mode and see Overwatch 2 running with the new shaders. It's amazing, isn't it? How a simple, quick download and a little effort can dramatically change the play of a game on the Steam Deck. Well, folks, that's it. Uh, you now have a silky smooth Overwatch 2 game. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If I helped you out, consider hitting the like button. Subscribing would be great. And of course, you know what the notification bell does if you want to be alerted of new videos in the future. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. You are appreciated. Until next time, take care.